so once you have your team, you've made the sale, you've got your team uh, in place, they cannot guess what you want. And I really think our jobs as firm owners, we have to tell the client, we have to tell the team what they have to do. Like we are responsible for setting up the processes. I think our, our teams cannot succeed if we don't set up the processes for them. At some point, a manager can take over, but that initial process has to come from the owner. So these are questions I would love for you to ask yourself. If you're finding yourself saying like, oh, the team's not delivering, they're not doing a good job, I would look back at yourself as the owner. Does the team know what was sold? Shockingly, there was a time where I would not tell the team what was sold. Why? I don't know. That makes no sense, right? Why would we not say, why would we not share this information? Does the team have clarity over what the client expects? Whatever was sold, do they know what that actually is? Do they have the tools to deliver? Are my expectations clear? Usually the answer is no to that. Does the team know what to do if the client's asking for stuff that's out of scope? I think that's an important part of delivering on the promise. Like, does the team actually know what the scope is? Do they know what to do if we go out of scope? It's important to map the client's journey after the sale. I feel like the sale is kind of the easy part, but then with CAS, like you've, you've got to bring it every month or the client will not stay with you. 